A long time coming, but we're finally getting another broadcast from the Buchanan Bro Op. And right now, we're going to go and jump in and grab a hold of our great, great, great fan's favorite thing. We're going to go do some poker. So, let's do that up. Let's see if people can see the button. And then we're good. Anyway, by the way, I um, saw a documentary the other day where we had to do all the different commercials, right? It was all the commercials, the best ones of 2016. And I'll tell you what the Grand Prix winner was in a second. After I get this down. Uh, just excuse me. There we are. I should look it up. So, well, the only ones that I liked was in a museum for, like, Austria. There was a, um abstract art piece where it's a small child they were playing with blocks and they couldn't get the round hole and the square peg and the triangle and the circle and all that stuff right and the square and the triangle and the commercial fades over and it goes give abstract shapes another chance that was my favorite one it was the beginning and I thought that was the best so and that's the problem it was the same problem I had with Jackass Jackass the movie starts with the best stunt in the entire in the entire franchise when they, when they take the car and they go and they enter it in a roller derby from the rental shop. And he says, uh, what did he say? He goes, I put a full tank of gas in. That was the best one for me. Anyway, so here we are, guys. We're going to go start doing some gambling. Anyway, back to my point. The um, commercials nowadays are all cult branding. It's all like impressions and social media this and social media that. And it just drives me bananas. Everything has to look like a, um... I imagine this is a, this is a casino, Mr. Jobo. There, there will be no... I don't believe 12-year-olds would be in this game. I believe every character in this game is above the age of 18 or 19. I don't know why that should matter. Um... Anyway, actually, speaking of younger people, um... There was a commercial about acid attacks so that was pretty effective. And it said that you can buy acid for about 30 bucks, or like 30 cents or something. Like the amount of money you spend on a, um, a, uh, a piece of, uh, what's it called, eye care or whatever is the same as acid. It's kind of interesting. Anyway. Kind of frightening. The other one I found was the, um, what was it called? The, uh, commercial for... Sea Shepherd was very interesting. It was about uh, going and sorry, excuse me. Anyway, that was about um, a commercial for uh, whaling. It was very effective. I still don't know what Sea Shepherd, sea Shepherd does. None of these ads, some of them made no sense. But like, there was one ad where they had like an old man and a young woman. And like a young man and a young woman, it goes, thanks to your support, people's lives would be different. I thought it was a riddle. I have no idea what they're trying to sell me or anything like that. Anyways, let's grab a hold of the poker table and we'll see if we can get a poker game going because I've been talking a bit too much. But I can tell you, I just dislike Cult Brandon immensely. Wait, 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 wait. I do not want to spend 5,000 chips. Oh, that was, that was almost a disaster, guys. All right, oof. In my, in my excitement, I nearly, I nearly, I nearly, I nearly sold us the farm. All right, come on, guys. Back off. Hurry up, go all in. in Toronto, Ontario. What is this? Is this some meta nonsense? Why, why is my own hometown here? To say hello. I don't know one thing to do now. Greet them with a wave. See what happens. Where in Toronto are you from? This is how you make conversation, kids. Just in case you're wondering. Where? In... Toronto? Are. Oh my gosh. If you ever wanted to learn how to spell in English, this is your method. Watch Judd play this silly stream. 
What is my poker nickname? I don't have one. Maybe you guys could help me out. Oh, it's up. Hey, so anyway, where was I? We got our thing back up? No, what did he say? Where did Toronto Terry say? Yes, says thanks. Where in Toronto are you from? So Danforth? Oops. Oh. Good, we're in. Alright. Boom. Good luck. Luck is for losers, Fane 1024. Alright, team. I'm gonna go to this mode, because I think it looks more like a poker game. This point of view. Alright, we got tens and tens. Now, we can't split them, because this is not... Yeah, I'll call. There's a good chance another ten might be. I mean, no, there isn't. Someone else probably has the ten, and... This, uh, this looks like a Christmas nightmare. Real talk for a minute. This looks like the kind of thing you'd wake up from and be like, huh? Like, what's wrong? And you're like, I, I had too much to drink and of uh, the eggnog and a bit too much of a turkey and now I'm hallucinating. Well, what do we got here? We don't know. All in. Screw you. I hate when people do that. When people are just like, it's not, because it's just zero buy in. They just all in and they get all the money and they try to, they try to beat you at something. But it will not last forever. Good thing I didn't go all in, by the way. Someone might have a five, and they'll crush this thing. So two pairs wins it. With what? Okay, whatever. Apparently, my poker nickname is Ace. Oh, the other ad that was always showing was AT&T's, like, don't text and drive. When it should be like AT&T, we're a heartless, soulless company who only wants your money. But they always have to be like, and they do like these documentaries now, that are like 50 minutes long about like the dangers of, it's like a PSA, but it's, you know, or it's something that's very, very techly involved. Like, um, how do you skip, like, the Geico ones where, uh, there's a bear involved and it's like, we asked people to skip the ads. And, like, and this is what happened. When people clicked forward, they did this. It's just meant for, like, business people who are, like, remember to tweet, guys. Tweeting is important. And you're like, you know what? Maybe you didn't suck with your products. Like, like, why is there never a product now that just advertised normally? Like, have you ever had this problem? Where your cell phone gets pocket dialed. This one doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Now it's all, let's just call these people in. This is a stupid bet, by the way. I've worked myself into stupidity thinking about these stupid commercials. Hopefully, oh my god. Someone's got a fucking straight going on, I promise you. There has to be a flush happening. Oh, pfft. I look like an idiot. I look like the dumbest man ever. One of the dumbest men ever. All right, team. Way to help me out, by the way. Oh, and I won? How? Anyway. All right, guys. Now we got a king and a queen. What should we do here? No one wants to go in and talk about ads that annoy them. The winning ad, by the way, was this Michael Phelps ad, where it says, um, it's what you do in the dark that determines how you get into the light or something of that nature. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. If anyone ever asks you to go into a commercial-based, um, documentary, the answer is no.
Alright, so that didn't pan out too well. Let's see what we can do for the next hand. Just the small blind. You guys are not helping, by the way. You guys are like, stream, Judd. Stream some more. I'm like, alrighty then. And now you're like, giving me a nickname like Ace. Not helping me out. There's three of you in here. You guys gotta advise me better on my finances, because I'm getting crushed here by a nurse that's dressed like a snowman and a reindeer. Alright, I got a pair. Let's do this up by ten. Let's, let's make them think that the world is, is about to jump up and attack them in the face. Let's do a bit of a 35, uh, let's put a, but, oh, they checked for me. All right, that should be good. The only hope now is if I actually get a, um, get a, uh, what do you call it? I actually get to be, you know, successful in my bit bets. Because I'm not going to be able to bluff this nurse. I might be able to bluff the other person from Toronto who is awful at poker. Let's hope so. Yeah, sure. Why not 55,000? Why not? But what do you guys think is the most annoying commercial tactic? I want to know in the chat below. Joey says I'm back. Alright, let's do this. Come on, guys. Give me one more 10. Yeah, how do I know someone is a flush? Alright. No. The commercials that repeat their phone numbers like 300 times, says Joey. That's a good one. Yeah, what about YouTube ads? Are there any annoying YouTube ads? Haha, oh, JK, we're all annoying. Um, the worst is that one where it goes like, free car giveaway. He's probably on ours if you click on this after. You know that guy who pretends to be rich, but he can't, but he can't, he can't engage you for five seconds. Like he's the most, he's got all the charisma of a plastic plant, but he's supposed to be some genius billionaire. Oh, he's the worst. Or if no, wait, I've, I've got a new thing I don't enjoy. The, um, no, we're not going to go all in. I'm not stupid. Yeah, the, the hot knife through things. Have you seen this? It's like, the guy has the gall, the unmitigated gall to call himself an experimenter. He's like, experiment, hot knife through butter. It's an expression. It goes through the butter. The number is XXXXXXX. Again, the number is XXX. And again, the number is XXXXX. Yeah, that's truly annoying. I just think I don't like heartless com comedi uh, comedians. Heartless commercial enterprises trying to convince themselves that they did something good. You know what I'm saying? Like Coca Cola wants to remind, like Budweiser wants to remind you that super not to drink and drive. Like, as if Budweiser, if Budweiser really wanted to stop drinking and driving, they wouldn't sell beer during the Super Bowl. They sell more beer than ever. They're so full of not, like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, that classic Super Bowl ad where Budweiser goes and is like, don't drink and drive, but drink, drink. Like, you know, don't, don't forget, like, it just, it's, you're, yeah, did you donate anything to, like, the Widows or Mad Mad or anything like that? No. Or education programs for kids? No, no, you just put a commercial down. That should, that should be sufficient. I'm so friggin' screwed again. Come on. 
on, come on, give me a 10. Uh, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Oh, someone's got this in the bag. You can just tell. If we're gonna check, I'll check. But we know you guys are incompetent. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Super Bowl commercials either. Oh, that's the annoying thing too, is people eventually gather around to watch the commercials. Oh, you 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 sellouts. <laughs> you corporate sellouts. All year long they complain about commercials. Oh commercials, I'd rather be stabbed in the eye. But now they're like, wait, we have to, did we miss a commercial? <laughs> anyway, whatever. That's what's been bugging me. The hot knife, uh, that's really it. Those are my pet peeves. We'll finish this game, but that's it. Commercials uh, that, are, that act like um, there's some social like benefit, you know? AT&T, don't drink, we get it. Texting and driving is stupid. Why don't you make a commercial that doesn't, like a, car, a phone that doesn't allow you to text while you're driving a car? I know you're already you're already monitoring people's driving abilities. Oh wait, that was it. Um, you know the Trayvon Martin thing uh, with um, there was this video called Chains, which causes you to look right into the um, what? Oh, the most overhyped thing about the event, right in front of the halftime show. Oh yeah, that. But um, what was I gonna say? No, the um, good point, Joey. But I'm gonna talk about something else for a minute. The um, bit from, not from Usher, where it was like about change. It was about victims of gun violence, and it forced you to look into their eyes. And if you looked away, it stopped. And it says, "Don't look away." And then when you look back in, it would use facial recognition software. And they're acting as if this is some new revolutionary form of like changing the world. It's going to be used by corporations to determine whether or not you looked at their ad. That's what they're going to use it for. Evil. You know this. Like, ah, oh, just wait. Why am I at zero? I guess I have to be. Come on. I'm getting surlier as I lose at this game, but yeah, that's uh, just, just, just all I could think of that entire time I watched the uh, documentary about about <laughs> various commercials. Is just like now it's very hot outside, and to beat the heat, nothing beats Fruitopia, the drink designed by hippies but sold by a heartless multinational corporation. Yeah, that's all I could think about. I also don't like the new robot McDonald's. Those annoy me. Everybody's clicking on the robot machine. Just go to the front and be like, I want fries and a burger. What do you want? Also fries and a burger. And you, fries and a burger. No, I want to click on the thing and waste everyone's time. Ugh, the world. Sometimes, I swear. It's too much sometimes. In other news, I had, I had a delightful Turkish dish called Borek. I recommend it to everybody. And Turkish Delight, I also recommend that, but I recommend you get it with nuts in the middle of it. I don't like um, the pure gelatin kind. Also, if anybody knows the difference between Greek and Turkish baklava, let me know in the comments below. I'd actually like to know that for my own edification. And now, is this the end of us? I think it might just be, we're done. But we can play blackjack, guys. Yeah, I'm out. Wait, what? No, I'm in. Oh, wait. I beat everybody. I thought that last guy was going to have me. I will not show you my cards. All of you can screw off. I said Greek, right? Yeah. I think Greek and Turkish baklava, the only problem is... Um, origin, origin, but I remember I mentioned something about, like, baklava is made with blank, and this Turkish person was like, no. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about baklava specifically. Joey in the chat asks what it is you're talking about. I'm talking about baklava, the uh, food that is common in both Greece and Turkey. I guess we'll have to... All in. Look, we're just going to go all in on this. My brother's wife is Greek, and that's like the big difference in most, most dishes. 
is, is, is ask them. All in. Forget if we're gonna. Yeah, I'm going all in. I'm going all in. One thousand dollars. See what you guys make of that. Uh, <laughs> everyone's all in. Oh, I'm not bluffing. Ah, uh, no! Another person from Toronto has beaten me. Well, you suck. You suck. Good day, sir. Good day. That is a friend. All right, let's keep moving. All right, we have other things to do on our list here. We have to earn 250 in Big Wheel 6. I don't know how to play that game, so good luck with that. Uh, get a wild win with wild symbols and um, slots. So we can do slots. Side note, Greek weddings are a lot like the movies. Well, I don't even know it if I ever... You mean the one movie, Joey? My big... Oh, actually a couple. The trilogy. My three big Greek weddings. And so forth. What? How is that not something? There's like three orange fishes. Anyone know if this is based on an actual... I don't gamble enough. If this is based on an actual... um. What's its face? Actual game. That they play in casinos. I've only ever played blackjack once. And my brother was being a pillock about it. Because I told him, like, alright, don't let on, we don't know what we're doing. And he saw, like, blah, 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 blah. Every time I was trying to listen to a guy, because I was like, I know how to play blackjack, but I didn't know what he was saying. He's like, you top the table. I was like, shush. I couldn't hear what he was saying, right? And then, um, what else he goes? And he went, ah, the joys of being university students. Like, stop. We're trying to tell people that we belong here, you dip, dip, nitwit. Oh, the worst, the worst when people mess with your, mess with your plans by being too honest. This is a game the old, little old ladies play at the casino. Good. Is it for real, though? Fish and chips? I don't know how I win it. I don't understand. The other way I don't understand is craps. I don't get craps. At all. But together, maybe we can figure out Big Wheel 6. That might be helpful. We can do that. Let's do Big Wheel 6. Alright, let's try that. So, double blackjack. Get a double blackjack and video blackjack. Let's try that out. So, we're going to go to video blackjack. I'm going to try to get a double blackjack. So, up we go. And we'll try to do this as as easily as possible. So we're gonna bet do a bet of two hundred. And let's see what we do here. That's a one blackjack. Let's get a double blackjack. And there we go. All right, Joey says Big Wheel 6 is easy. So let's give that a try then. Before we get done here. 
Big wheel six, big wheel six. Where are you? Probably the big wheel. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> I don't like the look of this person who looks like Kathleen Wynne from behind. That's a Canadian joke. All right, let's pop in here. How do we play big wheel six? What do we do this? Apparently, Big Wheel 6 is based on one of the earliest casino games from ancient Egypt. I did not know that. How do we play this? This looks like it's difficult to win. Let's do 40 to 1. 50 bucks. If I get 40 to 1 odds, let's do like a 5 to 1 odds. Good. Done. That's 100 bucks. And we stand to make a lot of money. No, we don't. We stand to lose a lot of money. Oh, that sucked. We're gonna keep doing this again. 10 to one, fine. But then 40 to one is happening too. Joey, you said this game was easy. I'm, all I'm doing is losing money. Like a sieve. Ancient Egypt must have been boring. But I put a safe bet. Like one to one? What? But then that's... Okay. Alright. Let's see if this works. No, Joey, that didn't work either. What you're talking about. Okay, fine. Hmm, maybe you're right, Joe. Wait, I won fifty bucks. How'd that happen? How did I lose 300 bucks? All right, enough of this game. This game is obviously a sham. All right, how much money do I have left now? All right. Forget that. Let's play blackjack. I can play blackjack. Joey remarks that those Egyptians would have eaten you up. Probably. But they also invented the game, so, like, let's not get carried away here. Alright, let's play. It's probably with a $50 blackjack. If this is the other one, I'll be in some serious trouble. Alright, so we can definitely blackjack our way out of, out of our problems.
Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Well then. That just tears it. Hopefully, I'll just keep betting higher until I eventually get a win and then it, it undoes all the damn. This is probably how gambling addiction starts, but nonetheless. That's unfortunate. Uh, apparently, according to Joey, Carrie Fisher's mom died. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I've noticed that a lot today, too, is a lot of people are like, I'd like to say something as someone who did not know Carrie Fisher. Like, it's one thing if uh, Jim Hall dies, the guitar player, and he's not that well known, and so you share his music with your friends, and some new fans can become acquainted with, like, his artistry. It's another thing if you're just being the gossip news. Like, you're just basically saying, look at me, look at me over somebody else is like grief and tragedy and I don't get it personally I mean no I mean thanks for bringing it up but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on that I just think some people need to leave well enough alone on certain topics or be honest and say I'm only doing this like like flip to Franco has anything to add <laughs> you know or Tommy NC 2010 has anything to add I'm like you didn't know her like, like thanks for reminding me you know, I would never have known otherwise. Uh, where was I? Oh, sweet. I'm actually up to getting... I'm close to getting 25 RP. And then afterwards, I'll show you guys the cool game I, uh... I've, I've purchased for this. Yo, it'll, you'll blow, it'll blow your minds. You guys will want to stick around for that. Hopefully I can... Ah! Oh, close, eh? Off by one. We can 150 this and nope that ain't happening least favorite holiday food go I'll put mine up there it's a controversial one turkey turkey can screw off turkey is one of the worst foods ever in my opinion we only started eating it out of white guilt. No, I'm kidding. But but out of, out, of, out of respect for our ancestors. That's the only reason we started eating it. <laughs> and no one thought, well, maybe food has evolved since then. Maybe we don't need to eat such awful dry food. Maybe we can eat like adults and have beef wellington and fancy things like that. Instead of eating what our forefathers ate which in most cases were berries they foraged for food in the forest for because they had no other food. In my estimation. That's how I imagine things went. They were starving to death. They had to eat whatever they, whatever they could. Doesn't mean we have to. I'm just saying you can respect the holiday without having to disrespect your sense of taste. All right, where are we at here? And now I'll show you this final piece. And we'll be good. So this is the final part of our uh, festivities today. That is the great new beach house where you can play a game. I'll show you this. Bet. I want to see who can guess. What do you think the game is that you play? So I'm going to walk up. I'll show you the beachfront property and you guys can guess in the chat. What is the game? What do you think the mini game is? Uh, da, 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 whoops. Wrong way. Let's just keep running over here. Get some exercise in. That's one of the actual mini games. Of it. Not mini games, but uh, side tasks. You actually at some points have to just run for 500 meters. It's a bit ridiculous, I know. I, that requires no skill. Anyway, here we go. So this is our beachfront property. I want to get that octopus hat, but I don't know how. Yet. 
and I'll show you the final piece of this. Get ready. Let your imagination wander. What do you think it might be? Alright, do do do. We're gonna walk outside. Nope, that's my shower. You don't need to see this. This is the game. The game. Is to play with a metal detector until you find the chips. I found a beach hat. This is the game. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. Alright, guys. Thank you for listening. This has been the Buchanan Bro Op. And we'll see you next time. Broadcasting. I gotcha. All right, guys, have an excellent rest of your day and spread this around. Thank you.